Ice Cube never was, never is, and never will be the gangster that he portrays to the public. The Ice Cube persona did exactly what it was created to do, and that's pollute and destroy slowly the minds of bottom feeders and give them a thug for them to look up to and bounce all their aggression and shenanigans off of. I keep telling people, all rappers are actors and all actors could be rappers if the industry wanted them to be. Y'all gonna learn today that Hollywood and the CIA created people like 50 Cent, Tupac, Ice-T and Ice Cube for example. They gave them all struggle backgrounds and upbringings making it seem as if they came through the grit and grind of life to get where they are. For example, Bow Wow just recently came back out trying to reinvent himself by rapping gangsta, but the public didn't receive him because his character was built off being the little rich spoiled kid who was brought up under Jermaine Dupri. Another example, if Will Smith came out rapping gangsta, it would get flushed down the toilet immediately because we all know him for the Bel Air living, right? West Villanova, you're born and raised, you know. See, the industry knows a thing or two about marketing. Ice Cube is the product on the shelf, aka the character that needs a believable foundation that can carry him throughout the rest of his artificial life. While people were getting killed on the streets of Compton, teenagers going to jail every day, the blood and crip war at its highest, Cube was out here eating filet mignon on the jet with the CIA. While on the streets behind his music, prison sentences were being handed down and the bodies were piling up. To this day, Ice Cube has zero jail convictions, zero traffic citations, zero times he's cut through a wet paper bag with a razor. Hollywood can't be serious, y'all. They gave us a five foot eight gun toting thug to believe in. And they even more funny because first they give us the ice tea, then later they give us the ice cubes to go with the ice tea. Man, these people funny, man. Ice Cube is no more real than Hulk Hogan, Iron Man, or The Simpsons, y'all. <laughs> you really gotta understand this. Hollywood, aka Satan's Playground, is really a tight-knit family for the Luciferians. And instead of bringing new people in every time to get jobs done, they just take an already broken puppet and turn him or her multi-dimensional. For example, T.I. went from a gangster with a house full of army artillery to an eloquently speaking accent. They want us to think that T.I. just woke up one day and started talking like this. <laughs> feel exasperated with my philandering, then we just need to go on ahead and de-domicile this domestic juncture. But otherwise, you must respect the fact that we are amalgamated in matrimony. For you to be engaged in sexual acts with my sworn enemy? One whom I have physically encountered in the past over you? It's not advantageous to this marriage, shawty. The eloquent and clean record T.I. is the one that has he's been the entire time. The other events were pure acting and the bottom feeders bought it for face value. You see how much power media and false perception has over you if you allow it? All these characters have also been experiments on mankind to see how much we will trust what our eyes see only. Satan tells you to look, God tells you to walk not by sight. Two different orders. Snoop Dogg went from a gangster doing drive-bys on the block to baking with Martha Stewart, y'all. You know I can't make this up. These puppets will die miserable if they don't turn their life to Christ because their entire life, they don't know how it feels to even be themselves. Their entire life, they are in character acting mode, waiting on the phone call so they can run off to be the little old slaves to the industry that they are. It is a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick. 
Chris Brown went from singing the so-called beating on Rihanna, which was false because that was part of his humiliation ritual to move up the pyramid. Then he goes on to acting. Ice-T went from a so-called ruthless street goon to playing the role of a cop. Y'all don't see what they doing, man? Hollywood is a business. For example, why would Walmart hire another worker when the one worker that they already got can complete both of the tasks himself? Same thing in Hollywood, y'all. Ice Cube has always been an actor. He just simply took his acting skills on the road. Took it on the road. And now he's the so-called voice for the police injustice? Now before I commence into chopping this fable, I want to say this from my heart. I am embarrassed at myself for growing up and believing for one second a word that came out of these actors' mouth. But then I grew older and realized that Hollywood and this clown show stretches further than just the cinema and theater. When I say the industry is controlled, y'all, and they have actual gatekeepers who monitor who comes in and who goes out, this stuff is real, y'all. What are gatekeepers? Well, gatekeepers in the industry are people put in place at certain points of elevation that have the okay or the say-so to let you come through the cracks or to tell you to go back to being a bottom feeder. Now, there are different gatekeepers on different levels. For example, the cast of American Idol and The Voice, they're gatekeepers. They have been trusted to weed out and pick through those thirsting to be in the industry. If they say no, then you return back to your bland life to live as a regular or a bottom feeder. If they say yes, then they take the Baphomet oath to you and you receive that oath just to proceed to what you think is a better life. Why you all think you haven't seen too much of Queen Latifah lately? Because she was graduated to gatekeeper. She breaks a lot of the women in who come through the door. And they like breaking in the ones who aren't of the original satanic bloodline. They call them fresh meat. And they love seeing them being stripped of their morals, values, and principles for fame just to be worshipped. Mm. Now, after I strip the veil from Ice Cube and show you who he really is, if you continue to vouch for him after that, then that will be the misdirection you will have to deal with within yourself. Ice Cube is, was a privileged kid who rapped about a lifestyle he knew nothing about. This can be proven from testimonies of real gangsters who were actually in the streets around the time he was rapping about it. Now, if no one who was in the streets can vouch for him, why do bottom feeders who have never met this man still vouch that he was in the streets and lived a gangster life? The first group that Ice Cube made was called CIA, which he said stood for Crew in Action. But we all know it to mean Central Intelligence Agency, right? Out of all the abbreviations, y'all so-called super gangster chose to call his first group CIA? A group that included KD, Sir Jinx, and Ice Cube, a.k.a. O'Shea Johnson. Y'all ain't seen how many times Ice Cube played the role of a police officer in a movie? Now isn't that a slap in the face? A man whose entire identity is built off of him warring with the cops? He gets snuggled up in Hollywood and can't stop playing the role of a cop? Everyone who looks up to this fraud should be disgusted. Cube wasn't a gangster, y'all. But to get his fake image to stick, they pulled in a real gangster from the streets by the name of Easy e a.k.a. Eric Wright. And I say this loud and clear. Easy e was only recruited to be there long enough to get Ice Cube gangster image up. The more people saw O'Shea or Cube with Easy the more it looked as if the streets co-signed Cube. But it was just the opposite. The people from the streets knew that Cube was a phony, but he had the money, he had the dream. But they were there for the muscle and they were being used for the image. They promised Easy and his gang many promises 
And these promises kept them blind for what was to come. The same way Lil Wayne pulled Static close and sacrificed him. The same way Birdman pulled BTY Young and close and sacrificed him. It's the same way Easy e was took up out of here, y'all. Ice Cube released an album in 1993 called Lethal Injection. And surprisingly, y'all, two years later, Easy e died due to lethal injection of a needle that was said to be infected with AIDS. Easy e was brought on for three reasons. The muscle, you know, when they came to LA to shoot those video shoots and those scenes with Cube in the hood, so you, you can think he was still from the hood, which he wasn't. Who you think was outside making sure that everything went smooth? The muscle. They needed to absorb his gangster aura too. And they needed him to be a future sacrifice. The funny thing is, Magic Johnson supposedly contracted HIV in 1991 and is still alive today. As healthy as a Kentucky Derby racehorse, y'all. He contracted five years before Easy e and Easy e still ended up passing away. Even if we go by Ice Cube fake Wikipedia bio, it still says he moved to the suburbs and attended San Fernando High. Ain't no shootings, lootings, slangings, bangings, and cop on gang hysteria going on over there. But I'm here to tell you all that most of his bio write up is fake. It states that he was raised by his mom, who was a hospital clerk, and his dad, who was a groundskeeper for a university. That's all lies, man. They had way better jobs than that, and they also got Masonic ties. See, Ice Cube is the character, and O'Shea plays his character very well, y'all. When he take pictures, he remembers to give the audience the hard look. And he makes sure that his tough guy persona is the first and the last image that you get of him. Make my pores tingle. <laughs> it must be difficult to play a character your entire life. I mean, y'all think about it. He up in Hollywood signing deals to play one role for a lifetime. Do you all know that Ice Cube was the only NWA member who wasn't from Compton? <laughs> crazy ain't it ice cube is simply a businessman he does it all from movie producing to acting to rapping to clothing lines to commercials and more and he even went over and got in good with the nation of islam he told y'all he was like an octopus he wanted to put his hands everywhere him and the other puppet farrakhan they teamed up ice cube rapped about easy e life took his persona, sacrificed him, and since he was without muscle now, he went over to the Nation of Islam. Used his celebrity status to receive protection and notoriety from them. Once Easy e was taken out, some people would point fingers at Cube so he had to switch his protection, y'all. He could have used the protection from the police, but he couldn't risk that information leaking out and it would destroy his whole persona that he was building. He could have hired some gangsters for protection, but he didn't know any on his own. The only ones he knew were from Easy e So he went to Plan C, which was the Nation of Islam. Without most of the nation, knowing what was going on, fooled the entire time while Farrakhan and a few others knew exactly what Ice Cube was doing. Everybody want to talk about coons. But if we're going to give out awards for the biggest coon, then Ice Cube gets the golden plaque. You sitting at you ain't no way. I don't. Yes, you do. His top movies he was in was Boys in the Hood and Friday. And after watching him throw back a million 40s, smoke a lot of weed and beat up Debo, we were sold, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, we sold. Ice Cube done made it into the Gangster Hall of Fame. Y'all, it was just a movie, man. In real life, he was a guy who wouldn't shoo a fly off a picnic sandwich. I told y'all the pyramid scheme is real. Why the elites, their kids grow up seeking to be like Mozart. The bottom feeders grew up wanting and wishing one day they could catch somebody in the alley and do them like Ricky. Huh? I know a lot of this may be hard to swallow and a lot of people don't like being told that they've been lied to, especially by their idols. But I always say, if the laugh in the back of the fake sitcoms make you laugh every time, 
Then my videos are not for you. You realize the jokes aren't necessarily funny. You're just laughing along with some invisible crowd. Because you are in a deep sleep. They want you to think that a gun-toting savage made it out the hood to own multiple companies and gross over $140 million in net worth. And that you can do it too if you only work hard. That is a lie. These people were born with silver spoons in their mouth. And if you go out seeking what they have, then may God be with you. You got to get what come with it. They are selling you a dream, using your real life experiences right in front of your face. If you watch shows like Love and Hip Hop, and in your mind you know it's fake, but somehow you mentally make it real, then my videos are not for you. You still sleep. Most of y'all watch the award shows and act as if these actors are appreciative of you when they making their speeches, but they don't care about you. They don't even know you. Ice Cube been sold out to the bar for me. You can tell by all his one eye symbolisms, the throwing up of the two L's, which means love Lucifer, the throwing up of the W, which doesn't mean West Side, but rather the number 23, which is reduced to six, the deuces for the goat horns, the LA hats, which is 13 because L is 12 and A is one, which makes 13, which is the Masonic code and many, many, many more. I mean, Ice Cube is in it deep, y'all. He is an actor that should be ranked right up there with Denzel. And I ain't playing because Ice took on the role that he has played nearly his entire life. I know a lot of people are going to brush this off and instantly label me as a conspiracy theorist. But I can promise you one thing. Everything I said in this video was more real than Ice Cube entire persona that he gave you. And he's still giving it to you today. Think about it. He's playing a role his entire life. Mm. Mm. Mm.